All right, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Um, again, I am Casey Lane. This is Chad Lawson, and we will get started um, in just about a moment. Start to make your way onto your back. Good, as you start to find the spaces where the ground is really holding you up and supporting you. Take a deep, expansive breath in through your nose. Hold your breath for a moment at the top. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Smooth breath in. Belly and chest rise. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> One more just like that. Long breath in. Notice energy entering your body. Hold it for a moment at the top. Maybe sip in another inch of air. And exhale to arrive. Ha. Start to follow your own rhythmic flow of breath now. Long, smooth breaths in through your nose. Seal your lips and maybe out your nose. Exhale. See if you can soften the space between your upper and lower teeth. Allow your tongue to rest at the bottom of your mouth. And as an invitation to be present in this moment, start to draw all of your awareness and focus to the feeling of your breath and the sound of the music and maybe how they work together to create an energetic sensation of connectedness, healing, and hope. The breath is always changing, the breath is always moving, and similarly, music is always moving, our feelings as we start to move our body, there's and ebbs and flows and so giving yourself permission to be fully present with whatever arises and rather than judging it labeling it or questioning it see if you can just ride the rhythm almost like you would ride a wave and trust that what you are feeling is showing up here in this space right now for you and that you have the ability to hold space for whatever you are feeling as you continue to come back to your breath, back to the music. I'll be offering up some hands-on assists throughout the practice. If that's something that you know you would like to opt out of for absolutely any reason at all, please do me a favor and as we're all lying here, just gently place one hand on your belly would like me to um, not give any physical assists today. Good. Take a deep breath in. On your breath out, start to draw your knees in toward your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Maybe rock a little side to side, creating a bit of movement. Maybe rolling out your ankles, pointing and flexing your feet. Yeah, and starting to feel this energetic sensation of waking up maybe from the outside in, maybe from the inside out, maybe a little bit of both. Good. Grab behind your thighs and start to rock and roll up and down the length of your spine, gain a bit of momentum. You might pause for a moment in boat pose, feel a bit of heat rising. And whenever you feel ready, cross your legs. Plant your palms and we'll come into a tabletop position and naturally we've all, we're facing each other and I'm actually kind of here for that. So let's just continue to face one another, wrists in line with shoulders. We'll switch it up at some point, but for now, drop your belly, lift your chest, roll your shoulders back, cow. Exhale, press into your mat, round your spine, chin to chest for cat. Good, inhale, heart forward, shoulders back, tailbone tilts up. Exhale, round your spine, good. Inhale, cow pose, look up, draw your shoulders back, yeah, beautiful. Exhale, round and contract. Keep moving through cat-cow, maybe rock hips a little side to side, giving yourself permission to move 
move your body physically in any way that feels interesting. You might flip your fingers to face your knees and make some circles to stretch out the wrists. Good. From here, keep this fluidity of movement. Make sure all 10 fingers are facing forward. Flex the balls of your feet to the mat. Lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, shake your head, rock hips a little side to side. See if you can continue to draw your chest back toward your thighs and shake your head yes and no. Long breath in. Lengthen your legs any amount as you breathe out. Good, listen up. If you are in what would be considered maybe the back row, start to walk your feet toward your hands. And if you're closer to this front white wall, start to walk your hands back toward your feet. Yeah. Good. And everyone closest to the wall, just turn around to face the opposite direction and we'll slowly all roll up vertebra by vertebra. Head is the last thing to lift. So everyone facing this front white wall here. Good, once you're standing, big breath in, shrug your shoulders up toward your ears. Exhale, melt them down your back. Again, inhale, shrug shoulders up toward your ears. Exhale, melt shoulders down your back. Reach your arms up high, big breath in, Urdhva Hastasana, high prayer pose. Maybe a little gentle lean back, taking a back bend if you'd like. And then fold forward, hinge from your hips, head is the last thing hands to shins, halfway lift, long breath in. Plant your palms, step back, high plank pose. Option to tap your knees down to the mat at any point if you'd like. And as you're here in this plank pose, see if you can find that same rhythmic flow of breath that you just had in cat-cow. See if you can keep the softness around your facial muscles. Good, and then shift forward to your tiptoes. Lower all the way down to your belly. Send your elbows back one long line through your spine. Release the tops of your feet. Inhale, baby cobra pose. Peel your chest up any amount. And then send your hips back, child's pose. Hips toward your heels. Few breaths right here. Know that this is a shape you can come back to at any point throughout the practice. Never need my permission or anyone's permission to rest here. Good. Tabletop as you breathe in. Downward facing dog, flex the balls of your feet to the mat, lift your hips up and back. Good, and we'll take that sequence, it's a Surya Namaskara A, a Surya A, um, which is about saluting the sun. So this idea of maybe bringing in warmth or new energy, big breath in, lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, exhale, walk or jump or step to the top of your mat forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, round and fold. Come all the way up to stand, big breath in, reach arms high, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, hinge from your hips. Halfway lift, inhale, shoulders back, heart forward. Exhale, plant your palms, high plank pose. In your high plank pose, take a big breath in. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog or cobra as you inhale. Downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Take three breaths. Bend your knees. Exhale, walk or jump to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward as you exhale. Good. Long breath in to stand all the way up. Reach your arms high. And fold forward as you exhale, bowing towards self. Halfway lift, inhale. Plant your palms, plank pose. Move through your chaturanga, lower halfway or all the way. Up dog or cobra as you breathe in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Good. My voice will drop.
drop out, take one more of those on your own at your pace, following your breath, following the music. Good. Inhale. Exhale to the top of the mat, and you're off on your own at your breath's pace. back left foot flat and windmill your arms up and open warrior two good actively reaching in both directions softening shoulders down good and then we'll start to move this a little bit with the breath so eyes and gaze can be nice and soft as you breathe in sweep your arms up high straighten your front right leg palms touch exhale warrior two good inhale lift up palms touch Exhale, warrior two. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Keep your legs as they are. Flip your front palm up, reverse warrior. Left hand back, right arm high. Lengthen through your front side body. Good. Now listen up. Start to straighten your front leg any amount. Take your left hand to your right wrist and kind of add to this side bend. Flex your front right toes up and pivot them so they face the long side edge of your mat. You're in a little bit of a side bend. Good. Back to center as you breathe in. Heels in, toes out. Come down into a goddess squat. Shoulders shrug up and back. You might take a few rocks side to side. And then I'll give the invitation if you'd like to take eagle wrapped arms, eagle wrap your right arm under, left arm over, or give yourself a big hug, truly feeling this sensation of actually embracing your own body. And then you might from there add a little bit of the fluidity, moving side to side, head, neck. Good, come back up to stand as you breathe in. Right toes forward, warrior two as you breathe out. Hold here for three breaths. Maybe close your eyes. Notice without judgment, sensation, energy, feeling. And maybe send the breath there. Bump your hips back, reach, reach, reach forward this time. And tick tock your right arm down, left arm up for triangle pose trikonasana. Almost like your entire uh, torso and chest were beaming up toward the sky. And you're creating all of this space across where the heart exists. At the same time, the sturdiness, the anchor of your legs, keeping you grounded, supported, rooted. An invitation to take a half bind with your left arm if you'd like to bring some opening into your left shoulder, just an option. Good, one more long breath in. Cartwheel your hands down to frame your front right foot. Bend your right knee, you're back in that low lunge sensation. Plant your left palm down. Reach your right arm up, low lunge twist. More than welcome to take this with your left shin down and connect it to the mat. Or if you want to bring some energy across the right side body, you might make some big circles with your right arm, almost like you were doing backstroke through the room. All the while noticing your breath. Noticing where you're anchored, sturdy, grounded, supported, and where there's room for fluidity, movement, change, shift, possibility. Right palm comes down. 
step your left foot forward to meet your right forward fold top of your mat good bend your knees chair pose utkatasana send the weight back into your heels good feel the sensation of almost um, magnets at your inner thighs so everything is really um, strong compact and yet airplane arms back feel some fluidity and opening through the chest space stand all the way up reach your arms high big breath in maybe a little back bend chair airplane exhale good inhale stand tall reach high keep this going on your own moving through chair airplane and standing tall see if the movement of your breath the movement of the music the movement of your energy can feel like it's dancing together your eyes maybe bring that word back to mind the thing that you are energetically seeking to cultivate more of to feel more of in this moment and maybe you can find a glimmer of that feeling right here stand all the way up right hand to belly left hand to heart and take a moment to just allow your eyes to close lift big breath in plant your palms plank pose you might move through a vinyasa on your way to downward facing dog or to conserve energy at any point feel free to skip it and in downward facing dog collective big breath in big sigh out left leg reaches up high behind you three-legged down dog knee to nose round your spine gently step your foot through between your hands for a low lunge spin your back right foot flat and windmill your arms up and open warrior two and the answer doesn't have to be there but maybe just asking yourself what does um, warrior present energy maybe feel like or look like in this moment beyond the shape knowing that strength can come in forms of softness good feet stay the same as you breathe in that same fluidity right leg or excuse me left leg lifts arms reach up warrior two inhale lift up palms touch warrior two good keep moving through this a few more times noticing your own connection and the way that we're moving together as a group good one more good in your warrior two keep your front knee bent flip your left palm up reverse warrior right hand back left arm high lots of energy moving through your left arm and then begin to straighten your front left leg take your right hand to your left wrist and then pivot your front left toes to face the long side edge of your mat and give yourself this nice side bend stretch good back to center heels turn in toes turn slightly out this time left arm might eagle wrap under the right and give yourself permission to just move might be some big circles might be stillness might be with eyes opened or closed good come all the way back up as you inhale and we'll pause and hold this this is a power stance so we've actually done studies on simply 
holding this shape and breathing deeply actually starts to send signals to our brain, feelings of confidence. Good. So give yourself a few breaths, maybe close your eyes to take up space. And the only thing to do right now in this moment is to be present with your breath. Turn forward, warrior two, bend your front knee. Good. This time begin to lengthen your front leg. Bump your hips back, reach forward, triangle pose, trikonasana. Good, hand does not need to come super low, rather prioritize, yeah, these are great looking, um, just feeling of openness. Option to take a half bind with your arm if you'd like. Bend your front knee. Cartwheel your hands down to frame your front foot. Low lunge. Low lunge twist. Right palm down, left arm up. Expand, reach. Maybe make some big circles with your left arm. Like you're doing backstroke through the room. Good. Palm comes down. Step your right foot forward to meet your left forward fold. Feet can be together or hip width distance apart. Bend your knees, send the weight back into your heels. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Maybe sitting a little bit deeper to feel um, a sense of maybe uh, strength, power, groundedness. See if you can lean the weight back into your heels a little bit more. And then we'll move through that fluidity again. Airplane arms back. Stand all the way up, reach your arms high. Big breath in. Chair airplane as you breathe. Breathe out, good, keep moving through this, and I invite you to maybe move a bit faster. See if you can uh, give permission for energy and movement to exist with your breath. And maybe it's almost like um, you're sweeping some old energy off of you, anything that you don't want to take into the rest of your day. At any point you'd like to stop, you can pause in chair pose. Good. Stand all the way up, reach your arms high, big breath in. This time, left hand to belly, right hand to heart, maybe eyes close. Take a moment to just notice your heels, your shins, your knees, both of your legs. And you might even start to shift the weight from the right to the left or rock a little side to side, almost like you would rock a baby or the way that you would just gently hold or cuddle an animal, just that real sweetness of holding self and using gentle breath and rhythm to maybe nurture a sense of peace, groundedness, reach up high inhale eyes might blink open extend cactus your arms reach your chest toward the ceiling little back bend good inhale arms reach up high forward fold uttanasana hinge from your hips good. take a few breaths in your forward fold if you'd like you might interlace hands behind your back you're craving something a bit more cocoon-like feeling, rounding into itself, you might grab onto opposite elbows for ragdoll. Good. Halfway lift as you inhale. Plant your palms. Find a high plank pose. Final time that we'll be in plank pose in this class. Actively press the ground away from you. Shift slightly forward as you breathe in. As slow and steady as you can, lower all the way down to your belly, one long line through your spine. Good, release the tops of your feet. Inhale, peel your chest up, baby cobra. 
an option here to reach your arms behind you for Shalabhasana. So it might mean the chest comes a bit lower, but reach arms back, maybe interlace all 10 fingers. Option to lift your toes as well. Good. Long breath in. And release. Child's pose. Shift your hips back toward your heels. Rock your forehead a little side to side. Feel where you're in connection with support. And making your way up into a tabletop position, stack your wrists in line with your shoulders. Reach your right arm up toward the ceiling as you breathe in. Thread the needle, slide your right shoulder, right cheek to the mat, tailbone tilts up. And you might crawl your left fingertips further forward if you'd like. down to reach your right arm up big breath in palm comes down as you breathe out switch sides left arm up inhale thread the needle as you exhale slide left shoulder left cheek to the mat gaze to the right and see if you can keep your tailbone tilted up Right fingertips crawl forward if that feels nice. Right palm comes back down under your right shoulder. Press down to reach up. Big breath in. And left palm down. Good. Send your hips to the left and the right, almost like you had a tail and you were wagging it behind you. And then at some point, you'll come all the way onto your seat. Bring your legs out in front of you in Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Feet together, knees wide. Feet can be as close or as far from you as you'd like. Start by taking a big shoulder shrug up toward your ears down your back. And then exhale, start to fold your torso forward any amount, no right or wrong. Hands can rest on your ankles or they might even move all the way out in front of you onto the mat. your chest same way we started but already notice what you've shifted what you've maybe moved around Good. and then bring your feet down onto the mat about hip width distance apart all ten toes face forward and if you crawl your fingertips forward you should just barely be able to tickle your heels press down through your feet lift your hips up bridge pose We'll hold here for about five breaths. You might shimmy your shoulders in toward one another. Maybe interlace all 10 fingers underneath you if you want to crawl. Um, a bit more opening through the chest as shoulders come toward one another. Maybe even see and feel your belly and chest rise and fall with each breath. Vertebra by vertebra, slowly release upper, middle, lower spine to the mat. And then let your feet go as wide as the mat and just knock your knees in toward one another. Maybe windshield wipe your legs a little side to side. 
This might be another really nourishing place to draw one hand to belly, one hand to heart. In the same way that we so often show up and give so much energy, love, care to those around us, think of this as a moment where you are offering that back to yourself. Coming back to center, hug just your right knee in toward your chest, extend your left leg out long. Take your right knee slightly to the right up toward your armpit, and then gently start to scoot your hips a little bit to the right, and take a supine twist. Right knee releases any amount toward the left. Arms can come into a cactus shape. If there's another twisting variation you'd prefer, of course, feel free to take that. up and supporting you and maybe imagine the music is almost like a warm blanket wrapping around you start to make your way back to center and draw your left knee in extend your right leg long Ready, scoot your hip ever so slightly. Maybe eyes close. if that feels good. Take the next 10 breaths or so. Anything else that your body is craving physically before you move into your final rest. Feel free to take those shapes. ready to move toward stillness and receiving, begin to lie all the way down onto your back. Giving your spine, your body an opportunity to settle into on your body or at your side, wherever you feel called to move into this place of stillness. And for just a moment, maybe bring that word, your intention, back to your mind. For the next few minutes, like a sponge absorbing allow your ears your body your mind your energy field to just absorb the music and maybe again if it resonates the music is like a blanket just wrapping around you with warmth healing
continue to notice with compassion, curiosity, and sweetness where you feel sensation. Where you feel your breath. to each other, to the music, to your breath, and to whatever experience this was for you. Gratitude to yourself for showing up, and know that you can take this nurturing care of self with you off of the mat as well. You might bow your chin toward your chest and whisper, or you can think to yourself, thank you. Eyes blink open. Let's take a collective breath in. Big breath out. Mm, thank you so much. So much gratitude to Chad and the beautiful music. Thank you.